minute. Now the central infrastructure, like a cashmere blend in the dark, lies unshaken, circuited through the gigantic nap, pillow, branch, smooth, hold, leave, quartz moves. The minutes burst out with goodbyes. You never cease to amaze with what you say, never speaking a word. No, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Damash. Name your baby Damascus. This is a love poem for you. Such is Damascus at sunset, the Anta Lebanon's imagining you. Mountains are a bar held belt loop. This is a love poem for you. The city satisfies luxury demands. This is a love poem for you. Roman Damascus lies at depths. This is a love poem for you. A tongue will tuck behind not much different from a dream one walks. This is a love poem for you. You are peace, a ghost up the Gettysburg skirt, a civil war, confused. This is a love poem for you. Look at what's unhuman about a love poem. Look at what's confused. Look north, reach south, be spatial. Below the modern city, south bank of the river Barada, this is a love poem for you. What a tallow Calvina, that's not Calvina. All Calvina was like feminine all of a sudden. Okay, well maybe it might be. What a, what a Tello Calvino explained last night of love. At fingertips ends at night, before planets became Earth's song, there was the sign and swirling mass flowing a blue noun implosion. The slender evening's neck, a moon in macroscopic verbs, dreamt a woman not unlike Lavinia, in the sense fingers played the air. On nebulous tracks, the comets extended from objects like tunneled snow driving pensive windowed roads. Language is a tongue of longing in the reaching long black ice. I'm actually really glad I had this one because I thought of it while Laura was reading the Lavinia, the, I think it was the um, three minutes one. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it's the Lavinia reference. Which is why I left Nebraska in the first place. <laughs> Secret and secrete to find the same sails. The root of the tongue unripened in shadow and the root of the matter had nothing to do with this cold fist caught, a passing note between the gun metal night of clouds. In the temples rang fee fi fo drum rung bell of a blue-green temple, simple making of a climbing giant, the beanstalk's backyard leaf, hint and glint gold, goodbye. Two. The particulars arrive today, after inside the patter of feet, I pick Rosemary for remembrance to forget her father's foot at the cat, and the tang of him, blood tongue like a dragon's fire, snout long and crouched. How can you teach an animal not to eat? I open my hand to unarmored rebel, ripening to the light. This is divided into two sections. Um, I keep reading it over and over at readings because I want to. <laughs> but um, in any case, it's just divided into two sections, blue trees and red trees, so that I'll, I'll mark it by that instead of numbers. For M, blue trees. But that's what it wasn't like sometimes. A few times bred something like piezo electric, the crystallized inside of quartz, a watch, the way I looked at you. And at times when the blue light filters across the half-drunk glass, I can still see between us 
The gray silk sheets again between black and white. There is the predatory, the other afraid, wet. A tremble under cobalt, neon, the spread of violet skin curved below me, and though you made this fierce brush stroke, a breaking open. Red trees. In a distil shade of red, you walk down the street to me. I take your stride and stride, all banter, time and hinge. Tonight, the wine moves through me like a curse. No flow, only your eyes, not here, there at 2 a.m. It makes me feel like defining wicked, what it means when the red is soaked all day. Carla, you playing a game. <laughs> all right, two more. Voice. I had a really nice email on Thursday from a senior at Columbia College in Chicago. From us, he he wanted to tell me how much he loved my poems. This is one of the three that were published on Drunken Boat recently, and he wanted to write a paper about them. And uh, he had a whole theory about this poem. And it was really actually quite touching. It was like really the best day because of that email. So I'll read that one. Voice. Your voice new as piano keys, black, white, and aching, beginning its gracious news, or in a pine barren to a backyard, turn blankly to fall. There is nothing to offer the sky but the smell of dead leaves. So they begin their turn, incensed, a tip of the nose phenomenon at the edge of the tongue we all speak greatly. Last night, in the backyard, falling under the still great moon, in yellow gold memory, I saw what's full in winter storming through, measuring anomalous morning thunder in the palm of its hands. How unusually true, too, in the thirty or so below, the mouth still spoke of you. Your voice knew as piano keys, black, white, and aching, beginning its gracious news, or in a pine barren to a backyard, turn blankly to fall. There is nothing to offer the sky but the smell of dead leaves. So they begin their turn, incensed, a tip of the nose phenomenon at the edge of the tongue we all speak greatly. Last night, in the backyard, falling under the still great moon, in yellow gold memory, I saw what's full in winter storming through, measuring anomalous morning thunder in the palm of its hands. How unusually true, too, in the thirty or so below, the mouth still spoke of you. Your voice new as piano keys, black, white, and aching, beginning its gracious news, or in a pine barren to a backyard, turn blankly to fall. There is nothing to offer the sky but the smell of dead leaves. So they begin their turn, incensed, a tip of the nose phenomenon at the edge of the tongue we all speak greatly. Last night, in the backyard, falling under the still great moon, in yellow gold memory, I saw what's full in winter storming through, measuring anomalous morning thunder in the palm of its hands. How unusually true, too, in the thirty or so below, the mouth still spoke of you. <laughs> <laughs>